Welcome to Wolf Chevrolet. Today we're looking at the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. This Silverado is featured in the RST trim and is a black paint finish. Under the hood we have a 5.3 liter V8 engine paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission as well as our four wheel drive. Inside the vehicle we have five passenger seating on jet black leather seating surfaces. We have heated seats in the front of the vehicle with a power driver seat. Also have a heated steering wheel, our controls for our Google Map integration with our Google infotainment system, fully digital dash, as well as our lane keep assist and forward collision alert. Outside the vehicle, we have our blackout badging, black alloy wheels, our Chev ChevTech spray on bed liner, as well as our multi-pro powered tailgate. Starting off in the front of the vehicle, we have a chrome finish door handle, power locks, power mirrors, power windows, and our rear window lock, storage, and our Bose speaker in the bottom of the door. Just inside to the left of the steering wheel, we have our electronic parking brake, all of our transfer case settings for our four wheel drive, as well as our drive mode and our tow haul mode. All of our lighting controls next to that. Audio controls and paddle shifters are on the back of the steering wheel. Power driver seat with power adjustable lumbar and it's finished in our jet black leather. Getting into the vehicle and looking above our steering wheel, you can see our display cluster. In the center, we can adjust all of our information and we can also adjust the display itself. We can adjust all of our gauges as well as our unit, speed warning, speed sign display, and much more. Moving to the left-hand side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise settings and gap control and forward collision alert. Also have a heated steering wheel. As mentioned before, panel shifters and audio controls behind on either side. Right-hand side of the steering wheel, we also have our hands-free voice recognition and then the controls for that display cluster information. Moving to the middle, we have our infotainment system. It's our Google infotainment, so if we go into audio, haven't actually enabled it, so we can see we have Sirius XM, also AM, FM, Bluetooth, USB, our Google Podcasts, and Google News. Home button is on the left or below to the left. And we have Google Maps integration, our Google Assistant, Google Play Store, wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, cameras, which is our backup camera with adaptive, hitch, and hitch view guidelines. Second page, we have our trailer and lights, climate controls, settings, a 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, My Chevrolet podcast, and our Google News. We have our home and power button to the left, as mentioned before, and just below it is our push to start ignition. Across the bottom, we have our lane keep assist, auto stop start, power tailgate, hazard lights, traction control, and downhill assist. Then below that, we have an integrated trailer brake controller, heated driver seat, dual zone climate control, heated passenger seat, as well as a USB-C and USB. I have a front and rear defrost as well. We have a bunch of storage throughout the front of the vehicle with two cup holders, shifters in the center. You can also see our key fob here. On the key fob, we have locks and unlocks, our remote start, power tailgate, as well as our alarm system. Center console is a leather finish, wireless charging pad accessible from outside. Opening inside, we have a two-tiered storage system. We can remove the back for some deep storage. Also have USB-C, USB, wireless charging pad, and a 120 volt plug. Moving to the passenger seat, also finished in that same jet black leather, and it's heated for the passenger. Lastly, moving above the rear view mirror, we have our OnStar settings at the front, dome lights with dome lighting control for the whole vehicle, power sliding third rear window, and then our universal garage door opener with our three settings. Now walking down the side of the front of the vehicle, on the front we have black tow hooks as well as our black bow tie with our LED headlights. Just in front of the front door we have our Z71 off-road badging, front tire and rim is a black alloy rim with our Chevrolet bow tie center cap and an all-terrain tire. Moving out we have black cap mirrors as well as our black paint match door handles with keyless entry on the front door. All the way around to the back we have our corner bumper steps. Back of the vehicle, we have our black bow tie as well as black RST badging, dual chrome exhaust tips, as well as our trailer tow hitch. 
powered multi-pro tailgate so we can flex it across the center. Hit the bottom button to open and we can see we have a powered setting. In the bed of the truck we have our LED in bed lighting as well as a 120 volt plug and our three cable tie downs on either side in the front and the back. All of that's finished with our Chevtech spray on bed liner. Moving into the back of our crew cab, we have a chrome finished door handle, power window control, as well as some storage and our speaker. Inside the vehicle, we have storage pockets in the back of the driver and passenger seat, two cup holders in the back of our center console with some storage, two vents below with our USB-C and USB, all weather rubber floor mats throughout the vehicle. Second row seat is our jet black finished leather bench seating. In our center seat, we have our foldable cup holders with our storage space in the center. Power sliding third rear window behind that center seat. In the outboard seats, we have our storage pockets. We can just pull forward and we have some space in the back. We can push it back and lock it into place. If we lift up simply on the front of the seats, we can fold it up and we have under seat storage and a 60-40 folding bench. Thank you for joining me for this quick video walk around of the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. If you enjoyed, please be sure to subscribe for more daily videos, and we hope to see you at Wolf Chevrolet soon.